Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here. And what we have here, let's label this as equation one and this as equation two. And from equation one, we make y the subject by taking x to the right hand side. Then we have y equals to 10 minus x here. We can label this as equation three. Then also from equation 2 here, which is x times y equals to 10. We substitute equation 3 here. That is what we have become x times y, which is now 10 minus x equals to 10 on this side. The next step here, we have x open this bracket. Then what we have become is 10 x minus x square then equals to 10 from here then we rearrange on this side we have minus x square plus 10x then taking 10 to this side we call minus 10 then equals to 0 here and next step we multiply through by minus so as to remove this minus that is multiply through by minus 1 and this becomes plus x square, and here we have minus 10x, then plus 10 equals to 0 here. Then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 10, and c equals to 10. Applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a then what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 10 over 2 times 1. That is here. This becomes x equals to minus times minus is plus. We have plus 10. Then plus or minus square root of minus 10 square equals 100. Then minus 4 times 1 times 10. That's 40 over 2. Then Next step, uh, this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40, that's 60, then over 2. We can rewrite this and we have x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 15 over 2 here. And this follows when we have root a times b, which can be written as root a times root b then also we separate this and all becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 times root 15 over 2 that is this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 that's 2 then we have root 15 over 2 here and from here, we factorize 2 up here out, and we have x equals to 2 into bracket. Here remain 5. Then plus or minus root 15, plus bracket over 2 here. Now this here, 2 cancel each other. And what we have becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus root 15. At this, we have two possible values of x here. The first one, we have x1 equals to 5 plus root 15. And also the second one, we have x2 equals to 5 minus root 15. Then, here we find the value of y. That is from equation 3, which is y equals to 10 minus x. 
Then on this side, we have y1 equals to 10 minus x1, which is into bracket 5 plus root 15 plus bracket. That is, yeah, this becomes y equals to 10 minus open with bracket, we have minus 5 minus root 15. That is, we have y1 equals to 10 minus 5, that's 5. Then minus root 15. That is the first set of solution here. X1 comma y1. Then becomes x1 comma y1 equals to into bracket 5 plus root 15 comma 5 minus root 15. And also on the second Solution here we get y2 as well using the same relation that is we have y2 equals to 10 minus x2 which is into bracket 5 minus root 15 close bracket that is here we have y2 equals to 10 minus open this bracket we have minus 5 plus root 15 that is we have y2 equals to 10 minus 5, that's 5, then plus root 15. Also, the second set of solution, x2, y2. Here, we have x2, comma, y2. Also, equals to 5 minus root 15, comma, 5 plus root 15. And here, when we look at this, the value of x here is the value of y here. And also, the value of y here is the value of x here. Watch this video to the end. Subscribe. And also give a thumbs up. Then, let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x and y from here, which is x comma y equals to into bracket 5 plus root 15 comma 5 minus root 15. Now let's substitute this. Once this is satisfying it, the other one is satisfying. You know, this first set of solution x1, y1. Then the, the second set is the interchange of this. Now for the first equation, which is x plus y equals to 10, what we have become x, which is 5 plus root 15, then plus y, which is 5 minus root 15, is it equals to 10 on this side? Then root 15 minus root 15 cancel each other. We have 5 plus 5. Is it equals to 10 on this side? And 5 plus 5, of course, that's 10, which is equals to 10. You have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, this solution here satisfies the first equation. And also, for the second equation, which is x times y equals to 10, when we multiply, we have 5 plus root 15 times y which is 5 minus root 15 is it equals to 10 on this side then here we have this follows from a plus b into bracket open bracket a minus b is same thing as a square minus b square but this here we can rewrite what we have as 5 square minus root 15 square is it equals to 10 on this side and 5 square 5 times 5 that's 25 then minus here yeah, square cancel square root 12 15 is it equals to 10 on this side 25 minus 15 here yeah, cause that's 10 which is equals to 10 yeah. we have left hand side equals to the right hand side then this solution also satisfies the second equation. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye.
ko na 